Hello friends, David Sparks here, sharing a little bit of window management with Keyboard Maestro. I've got a whole set of Keyboard Maestro scripts to run window management, and I thought I'd start with the simplest, and that's just moving a window around the screen. Now I've got two screens, I've got my iMac 27 inch, and I've got a, uh, a 4K monitor turned vertically next to it. So. Uh, I'm moving windows between these two screens all the time, and I can't show you that via screencast. I can only screencast one screen at a time, but I think you can get the idea as I show you these scripts. The first one, like I said, is basic window management. Uh, I call it right, and what that does is take the current window and put it on the right, right side of the main screen. So uh, the way you do that is first you have a command for it. I use control command right arrow. I like to use the arrow keys because I have one of those keyboards that actually has arrow keys on it and they're very convenient for screen management. Uh, so left hand hits some control keys and the right hand hits the arrow keys and I move them really quickly. Uh, but anyway, when the script runs, what it does is it, it takes the existing window and it puts it on the main screen and puts the left side in the middle of the screen. That's this mid X, that's what that means. And it puts it right here in the middle. Uh, the next thing it does is put the top in the uh, top of the screen and it uh, makes the screen width 50% uh, of the entire screen. Or I guess I should say the window width is 50% of the entire screen, which gets us half the screen. And then um, the height is the height of the actual screen. So it's a very simple command, like I said, uh, control command right arrow puts it on the right side just to give you an example here I've got on my uh, my Safari window if I hit Control command right arrow you can see just jump to the right side of the screen I can also move it to the left side of the screen and I use for that command control left arrow kind of makes sense right? Uh, to make it full screen. I just go up arrow and that gives me a full screen and I don't mean by that full screen view where it takes over the screen, but it actually has a window that fills the screen so I can jump around those modes all day. And I really like that because quite often I have windows on each side of the screen and being able to quickly move them to either one it is super useful. And you really just can't be doing that with a keyboard. All right, so let's go back over to Keyboard Maestro. Uh, you can see I showed you the right one. Here's the left script, which is the exact same thing except putting it at mid X. Uh, it just puts the screen on the left side, but still just makes it 50% of the width. Uh, for the full screen, you put it the same place you do for the left side, but you make it 100% of the width. This stuff isn't hard once you start figuring it out. Now, I also have screens on, uh, I also have an external monitor, like I said, so I, I put stuff on those screens all the time, too. In fact, I like to look at those as my reference uh, screen. So if I put like calendar data or something I just want to be able to view without working on, I put it over there. And the trick to that is um, you just use instead of like, for instance, here on this left one, it says main on all these entries. We're going to change that for the external screen to full, external. So you go from main, retype external in there, and it does that for you. Now these screens, I treat as top and bottom because it's a um, monitor turned vertically. So I have like kind of the top half and the bottom half of that. So instead of making the width times 50%, I do the height times 50%. And the keyboard shortcut I use for that is control command option with the up arrow and down arrow. So if I hit all three, I can move things on my external monitor. If I just hit control command, I can move them on my main screen and it becomes second nature really quick. Um, to do the external bottom, you do the same thing, but you just uh, start it at the mid Y, so halfway down the screen. And uh, this is, like I said, pretty easy. And if I go Control Command Option um, Right Arrow, that's full screen on the external monitor for me. And there's the settings for that. So just with those three, I'm sorry, those six uh, scripts, I'm able to move windows very quickly with just keyboard combinations. But the real payoff with this stuff is when you start uh, stacking them together for workflows, like places you want to get work done. Uh, the best example for that for me is this one here, where I just type semicolon work. All right, so this is a script that I do kind of in the morning when I'm just getting started. And I just type semicolon work, that's the keyboard maestro trigger. And once I do that, it activates the calendar and puts that 
um, on the external screen, on the top of the screen, like I was mentioning earlier. And then I open a whole bunch of apps on the bottom half of the screen. So I, first I put messages up, and that goes on the bottom of the external. Then I put Slack, and that goes on the bottom of the external. Then I put in OmniFocus, the bottom of the external. So you can see what I'm doing here. One password, uh, Apple Mail, and then Safari. And finally, I go down and open up Fantastical. Uh, on the main screen. So when I'm getting started in the morning, I like to see the two week view of Fantastical and I usually end up closing that pretty soon thereafter. But this is a real nice way to get everything I want in the locations I want as I get started. I've also made scripts like this for other things like recording a podcast or planning my day. Here's the planning the day one. And I do that mainly on my iMac 27 inch screen. So what I do there so I open up Fantastical and I open it to the full width of the screen because I'm using the 14 day week in Fantastical. So I see the next 14 days spread across the screen and then I um, open OmniFocus and I open OmniFocus at 75% because I like to see all the data plus the inspector. And then I do something clever is I open a bunch of tabs in OmniFocus. So if you hit um, option command T, uh, it opens a new tab and then I look at the personal the legal, the Max Sparky, and the forecast view, which is all keyboard shortcutted at OmniFocus. So I can have a set of tabs to go through and the calendar right behind it. Now I'd like to show you this whole thing, but I can't because there's a whole bunch of client stuff in there. I'll get me in a bunch of trouble. But I made kind of a sample one like that. And it's called Sample. And all I did is I changed from Fantastical to iTunes. So you're going to open iTunes in the background with that full screen. And in front of that, we're going to drop Safari instead of OmniFocus. Um, and I put in, instead of opening OmniFocus tabs, I hit Command T, which allows you to open a new tab in Safari and type in a URL. So let's see that one in action. I'll go ahead and close these windows, hitting Command W. And the uh, trigger for this is semicolon sample. So I type that in. And there you go. So it opened a new tab with Max Sparky in the front and behind it is my iTunes. And you can see I've been listening to my rainstorm today. I can swipe up to get back to the front and that swipe up is a great gesture by the way on the external monitor. When I open all those apps with that morning workflow thing, I can just jump between any of those apps. So there's a basic way to manage your windows using Keyboard Maestro and maybe stack a few apps together to really get your work done.